Hi Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, <clears throat> so Capricorn, like, right now it looks like you're very, very focused on your work, your career, your goals. If you can see the card, she's so pretty. Um, there is a situation here to me which feels like you've given up on. Okay, because we have the nine of wands in reverse here. It's a situation where I feel that something happened very quickly. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that uh, you could have been very persevering about a certain relationship, but you were on guard with this person, but you still tried your best to stick towards this person. Okay, like you wanted to, you were at the end of the rope, but you still wanted to persevere. Something happened all of a sudden, I think you snapped out of the relationship. I, don't, I haven't opened the cards yet, so I don't know if there's a breakup, separation. But right now, you're being very greedy with your energies and you're very focused on yourself, okay? Very focused on your career, your goals, um, etc. But <clears throat> right now, it doesn't look like you're contributing anything to the relationship. That is, if the relationship is on, okay? Let's open the cards. The current situation, Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So there is a gift coming in from the universe. The Ace of Pentacles is a very small gift from the universe, okay? But it is a gift. You need to nurture it. You need to put in a lot of effort, a lot of work if you want to get this off ground, okay? It's not going to be easy here. The blockage or the challenge out here is the Seven of Wands in reverse here. See, Seven of Wands in reverse. That's what I'm saying, right? Your guards, I mean, um, <clears throat> with the Seven of Wands here, it looks like there's someone here who is very guarded towards you. Okay, that's why you're the nine and they're the seven here. This is someone who is very, very defensive. This could also be someone who has trust issues or someone who feels the need to guard themselves. Very defensive. But they're in the reverse here. So which means what is influencing the Ace of Pentacles is that there's someone here who's letting their guards down. And they're finally okay with it. Like literally, like they're opening up towards you. Okay, and that's when the offer is coming in in the current situation. If it hasn't, it will. Okay, but this is something committed, something stable, something solid, something secure. If you are in a relationship, if you're in a very solid relationship and if this isn't a very new relationship, then what I don't like about this is that you're still going back to the ace, okay, which means that you should have been progressing. But again, it's like, you know, you're going back into circles and going back again to the same stage out here, okay? So it's like you need to go beyond that ace, right? That's not what's happening. So yeah, you could be dealing with someone who's constantly in and out or someone who's just very cold or someone who tries to ignore you or someone who neglects this relationship, etc. But they have their guards done, okay? So there's definitely someone who you're dealing with who's very defensive here. What's on your mind, Capricorn, is the tower in reverse here. So, yeah, you definitely want to reverse the damages, okay? You want to rebuild. The tower is a breakup, a separation, like I said. So, finally, we have this, right? So, this is what's happened here. There's been a sudden epiphany, a sudden realization due to which there's been a split between you guys. And now, with the tower in reverse here, you probably um, want to make up for it, you know? You were probably trying to avoid a disaster or you were trying to, you know stay away from some kind of mess now the tower in reverse can be two things it can be either avoiding a disaster okay because you probably feel that getting back to this person is the disaster and that's a kind of a catastrophe that you want to stay away from or the tower moment has already occurred and now it's on your mind that you know i mean to rebuild with this person okay from scratch rebuild from the foundation the reason for the reading, the root of the issue is the knight of wands here yeah see so there's someone here who's rushing in but this is what the biggest issue out here is Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here. That's my problem here. And that's why you're so guarded here. Because you know what this person is, okay? Not like they're... Not like this is someone who is not a good person. But with the Knight of Wands here, you're dealing with someone who's very in and out, okay? They treat you like a passion project. One second, they're very passionate about you. The second moment, they get distracted and they go away somewhere, okay? So yeah, they're like in it and out of it. In it and out of it. And what you're wanting is the Queen of Pentacles here. You're wanting stability. You're wanting focus here. Because you didn't get it and because you realize this is the kind of person who's coming towards you, you've completely shut down, okay? You've shut down your energies. You're not contributing to this person at all. And that could be one of the reasons why you probably thought that going into anything more serious with this person could be a disaster and that's what you're trying to avoid. Okay, 
what happened in the past the two of cups so yeah there was a lovely relationship between you guys okay so see that's what i'm saying doesn't mean the knight of wands does not mean that they're not in love with you that's just the kind of energy you're dealing with that's just someone very immature someone who's very in and out someone who doesn't like to be tied down to okay and with the queen of pentacles you're someone who likes to tie, get tied down you want security you want marriage you want commitment you want something that you can hold on to right but yeah there was a lot of love here in the past year with the two of cups what you're experiencing in the near future is the high priestess, right? You're going to be having, you're going to have to trust your intuition, Capricorn. It's going to be up to you. The high priestess is an outcome to me always feels an unknown outcome here, almost like the moon here. It's like, it's like literally the universe does not want you to know the outcome. The universe wants you to make a call for yourself. Trust your intuition, trust your guides and see what you want to do about it. Because that's what the high priestess says. The high priestess always trusts her intuition. Her intuition is on point. She trusts her psychic guidance. Okay. What you're doing right now, Capricorn, is silent treatment. No talking, no activity. I don't think you're doing anything about it right now. It looks like you're taking a break, trying to rejuvenate. Um, no communication, you're trying to um, revitalize your energies, but this is withdrawal, retreat, okay? You want to take a break, more like like an hibernation mode, you know? You just want to take a break, I mean, because you're hurt, you're pissed off, you're angry, or you're just very upset, very upset, okay? Uh, what's happening in your environment? The judgment in reverse here. Yeah, so there is someone here who's probably uh, not wanting to give something a second opportunity, Capricorn. Now again, take it how it resonates. This could very well be the person you're dealing with who's not talking and this could definitely be you who doesn't want to give something a second chance, okay? Because we, it's right falling right under the tower in reverse, which is avoiding a disaster. But the judgment in reverse is like that inner calling. You know you need to do something, but you're avoiding it over and over and over again. What happens with the judgment here is that this this comes with a certain amount of timeline. You know, it comes like with a deadline, okay? If you don't take that call that time, the opportunity is gone, okay? So someone's refusing to learn their lessons and there's someone here who's still repeating the negative pattern over and over and over again. But this is someone who's not listening to their higher calling. What's in your emotions? The Queen of Cups. Nice. You're trusting your intuition, Capricorn. You're being very intuitive this time. In your emotions, you have a lot of love for this person. But you're choosing to shut yourself off towards this person and focus on your career and your goals. Just because, you know. The Queen of Cups is, again, like I said, very intuitive. She's got unconditional love, etc., right? So I do feel that you love this person a lot, but the kind of person that you're dealing with, right? It's not that they don't love you. Again, they do. But they probably feel that, again, look, I don't see a commitment card here, okay? Which means this person is not ready for something, for a commitment. But they want to start something stable with you, which means this person has the intention of starting something stable with you, okay? The biggest challenge out here is going to be for you to get your guards down here because we have the nine of wands in reverse here where you've almost given up. You, you're, just, you're just like, screw it. I cannot take it. The biggest challenge out here is to get your guards down. You're not getting your guards down because you want to avoid this as much as you can because you think it's going to be a big screw up if you if you continue. But there was a lot of love here, okay? The Two of Cups is like that fairy tale card, but again, it's a lot of, it's that soulmate love, right? It's that soulmate energy out here. But the most likely outcome is the Four of Wands in reverse here, yeah. So see, there is still chances that you're still probably not going to get into that harmony that, you know, you guys coming together on the same page here. The Four of Wands in reverse is, uh, again, a lack of commitment, a lack of stability and security within the relationship, two people not on the same page. Or this could also mean that there is a lot of love here, but when it comes to probably making something public, okay, or getting that public recognition, or you guys coming together on the same page, uh, wanting to announce to the world that you are now a couple, or you guys are together, whatever, that's what's ha not happening here. To me, when the four of wands reverse comes in, I feel there's a lot of family interference. Okay, so there could be someone who's very influenced by their family or there is this person who needs to fight their family in order for them to give you this recognition or there's a split between family, friends and you. Okay, it, it could just be like that or this person just listens to too many people's opinions here. Let's clarify. Can you see the Queen of Pentacles? Just going to show. You're being very intuitive, Capricorn, very intuitive. I, I, I don't know. I have a feeling that you don't 
<laughs> you still can't say it. Never mind. I mean, I have a feeling that you don't want to give this another chance, you know, because you know exactly what this person is. No matter how much you love this person, right? For you, it's like... This person's not learning their lessons here with the judgment and divorce here. They tend to do the same thing over and over again. You know what happens? Instead of learning their lessons from what went wrong in the past in this situation, they tend to take it as a regret. Oh, that didn't work out. And then they, they tend to do it the same way again. So they do the same thing expecting different results, which is not possible. Tell me why the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see, seven of cups in reverse here. You could have been very, very confused because this person gave you a lot of mixed signals. But now with the queen of swords here, you were fed up of this person and you gave this person an ultimatum or you just cut them. You just cut them off. You were very confused. You had a lot of illusions. You were probably living in that dreamy zone, you know. But now you're looking at things very practically. You're seeing things for what they are. And you're very clear about what is going on in this situation. Probably you realize that you had too much, too many expectations from this Knight of Wands here, okay. Whilst you being the Queen of Pentacles here, alright. So, and that's something you realize. Because this could have been a cycle that's been repeating for a very long time. Um... Tell me more about the Knight of Wands, please. Why the Knight of Wands? Let's see this. Why the Knight of Wands? This is the root of the issue. Why the Knight of Wands? Tell me why the Knight of Wands. Tell me why the Knight of Wands. The Chariot, they are very very determined to move forward towards you okay so you're looking at someone who's very very determined because they've gone through with the five of cups here they have a lot of regret a lot of remorse about whatever happened they're feeling probably very guilty also about whatever happened in the past this person is very willing very determined to move towards you this could be someone living at a distance from you okay and they're going to then hell is going to break loose if you refuse to take them back is what i'm getting I mean, because the chariot is someone who's determined, right? I mean, look at the look at the way they're so passionate about you. They're moving full throttle towards you. You know, knight of wands and the chariot. That's speed. So expect this person to come in towards you with that communication, whatever. Probably they could have come in yesterday. Um, I don't know if I want to clarify the high priestess, you know. Well, I don't think I'll still get an answer, but let's see. Because when the high priestess comes into me, the universe is telling me, you make a choice for yourself using your intuition. Tell me what is the high priestess? Tell me what is the high priestess? <laughs> Nine of swords here. Yeah. You're very stressed about this, you know. You're very stressed about this decision because this person is going to come in and it's going to keep put you in your head. So you're going to be very, uh, con you know, you're going to be contemplating on whether you want your intuition is telling you something else. Whilst you're in your head and trying to make decisions based on fear or based on your past experiences. That's what the nine of swords is. The nine of swords is based on fear. It's based on your past experiences, on your illusions. Sometimes what happens is that the situation is not really as bad as you think it is. The reality isn't that bad. But the more you overthink it, it manifests into reality. Okay. So that's something that you need to take care of in the near future. Um, let's see. I want to see what I want to see. Um, yeah. Star and Ace of Swords. So whatever clarity you're looking for. I'm going to put this back. But whatever clarity you're looking for. It's, it's going to come in. And with the star here. It's like a wish fulfillment. Maybe if you want. So to me the star is not like the nine of cups the nine of cups and the star they're both wish fulfillments but to me the difference is that with the nine of cups you get what you want and with the star you kind of get what you want but you don't get what you wish for but you get a little bit of it you know not exactly the way you want it to so yeah probably if you want commitment from this person that's not coming in but you want this person back they're coming in that's what i'm trying to say if that made sense to you okay <clears throat> Tell me, why the what is the tower in reverse? Why are you trying to avoid this? What is the tower in reverse here? I feel you're very guarded with this person because that's the challenge here. You don't want this person in under any circumstances. Tell me, why, what is the tower in reverse? Tell me, what is the tower in reverse? Empress, because you got your shit together, bro. You got your shit together. You're the empress. You're the shit. Okay. You're self-reliant. You're abundant in every way. And now 
you you want commitment and you know what you want your marriage material and you know what you want you want that steadiness you want that stability security okay you love yourself and that's what you realize and that's why you're trying to avoid this connection because you love yourself this time you want to give yourself that priority you want to put all the focus on you and not on this person here that's why you're trying to avoid this okay because you feel that if you reconcile with this person if you get your cards down you're going back to the same cycle and this is just leading nowhere again there is a lot of love here but Again, I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of cycles because it would be very weird that there's so much there's so much love here, but you're there's this resistance from your side Capricorn to give this person another chance, you know. Although it's coming in. Tell me what is the ace of pentacles? What is this ace of pentacles coming into the current situation for Capricorn? King of Cups, right? This is someone who loves you very, very much, but this is unspoken love. So yeah, you could be dealing with, you see, Ten of Swords in reverse here. Someone wants a recovery, okay? There's been a, an ending, a very painful ending between you guys. But there's this person here who loves you very, very much, okay? The King of Cups is someone who's mastered their emotions, very balanced here, okay? I feel in the past this person could be someone very emotionally manipulative, very cold, very detached, but someone who had trust issues, you know, or probably they were just not ready to give you that love, you know? They were just not open. We have the King and Queen here, by the way. I mean... That's a beautiful pair, seriously. Again, the king and queen of pentacles is more like a marriage uh, kind of uh, uh, suit. The king and queen, this is two people in love. Two people in love on the same page. This person wants to give you the world here, okay? But when it comes to offering something stable, that's when it comes to the knees. That's what my problem is here. But okay, it's going to be up to you. You realize it. I don't even have to tell you that because with the empress here, you know, you realize that, I mean you're okay on your own and you want to avoid anything that is going to stop your growth or stop you from growing or becoming the best version version of yourself so yeah um tell me what is the judgment in reverse what is the judgment in reverse the moon here dude see this person has a lot of fear of the unknown all right this is a lot of fear of the unknown this is a lot of illusion this is a lot of not knowing what's going to happen next okay this could like i'm saying right the roles can be reversed this could probably even be you okay with the judgment in reverse you're not wanting to give something a second chance not wanting to you know uh not wanting a reconciliation not wanting a resurrection yeah but this is a lot of a lot of things need to be unfolded you know because they feel very left in the dark here whoever this is right and you need to rely on your intuition and probably whoever this is this person's intuition is telling them not to give something a second chance here it could also be it could also be see that's what the high priestess is with the nine of swords here Probably you're in the near future, your intuition is telling you that something's going to lead you to a lot of stress and anxiety because you're very close to the nine and you're close to the ten. You don't want to repeat that cycle again. You know this person too well. That's why I keep telling you that you, this is not a very um, new relationship. Yeah, see, whoever this person is, right, this person is trusting their guides, their intuition and what their intuition is telling them probably not to repeat their same mistakes. What is the Four of Swords? 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 Eight of Wands. Yeah, see, this person is thinking about wanting quick movement here, okay? Eight of Wands is rushing into something, right? But with the Eight of Swords, yeah, this person is stuck in their head. You're probably even dealing with someone who's got one foot on the brake and one foot on the gas, okay? One second, they want to, like, rush, rush, rush. And the second moment, they're like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You know, do I really want to do this? Because they're not doing anything about it, but in their feelings with Eight of Wands, you're, they want to do it now. That's the kind of energy you are in, okay? This person's going crazy without you. Probably it's a silent treatment that you're giving this person that's just driving them nuts. Or it's your resistance towards letting them into your life, which is driving them nuts, Okay? But this person, I mean, like I said, right? They could have messaged you yesterday. Why is the four of wands in reverse here as an likely outcome? Why is the four of wands in reverse here as an likely outcome? Yeah, because king of swords in reverse here. <clears throat> you're probably dealing, probably you know that you're dealing with someone 
who's very manipulative okay now this person's pissed off with you the king of swords in reverse is an asshole actually you know someone who does not communicate this is someone very very manipulative someone who's a liar a cheater doesn't have to be but someone definitely you know who is not trusting their logic they're not doing any fact-based logic communication lack of communication probably or even just someone who you just you, you just feel you cannot have the stability with a person like this okay the king of swords in reverse is someone who's very very temperamental but again who tries to play games a lot of head games you know they use they're very intelligent very smart but they use all this in a negative way okay so that could be one of the reasons why there is this lack of coming together the potential is awesome but there's this lack of coming together okay probably because this person is very pissed off because you're probably you're going to choose your intuition in the near future and cut this person off that's what i'm getting yeah it's all about the intuition this time, Capricorn. It's all about the intuition. You or the cross watcher, whoever this is, okay? So, all right. I love you guys. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.